Welcome back to another episode of Your Daily Real Estate. I'm Tristan. This episode is brought to you by my new brokerage. Well, brokerage. I teamed up with Dave Candice to open this up. It's Y Realty. Check us out. We're all over California. It is a virtual brokerage and it's centered on relationships, community, and leadership. This episode is actionable steps, so get ready to take some notes. I'm going to go over the AI tools that I use on a daily basis, and I'm going to start off with my favorite one. There are three, and I'll throw in a bonus, but everybody knows it at this point. Number one, ready to write, because I have it down in front of me. It's perplexity.ai. It's spelled P E R P L. E-X-I-T-Y. I love perplexity. I use it now more than I use ChatGPT, but barely, right? And the reason for it is when you search or when you ask it a question, it goes through its own language model. It uses Claude 3, it uses GPT-4, and it uses Llama 3, and it then combines the best answers and then it gives them to you. And then it also goes through multiple websites, grabs all of those, and then gives you a more complete natural answer. One of the other things that it can do for you, when you have the complete result, you can save it and you can save it in a folder and then you can categorize it. So if I'm looking at mine right now, I've got, uh, I've got different collections here uh, and my collections i've got a financial one i've got a marketing one i've got a psychology one i've got a real estate one but you can build as many as you want anytime you have a search or a question or you need help with something put it in there perplexity there is a free version there's a pro version that is my favorite thing right now number two comes in at a close second i would say i probably use this one every day as well and that is gamma dot app and i'm just making sure here that i do have that one as my second one yeah i do now gamma allows you to build out presentations or documents and i've built multiple documents and presentations for real estate on this Uh, not only summaries of the new real estate laws but also buyer presentations seller presentations and i just built yesterday a not a presentation it was like a a two three page document on service providers that we have so in essence i i grabbed all of those service providers that we have and i said okay make me a nice uh, pdf from this and title it this and it just came out so beautiful so gamma dot app that's g-a-m-m-a dot a-p-p take a look at that one that has a lot of uses you can also build websites from it very cool all right number three you've seen me use this one just want to make sure i get the right site it is syllabi.io it's my friends austin armstrong i am on their board so i do have to disclose that and i use it daily my whole team uses it to create faceless videos it's spelled s-y-l-l-a-b-y dot i-o and the faceless videos that we're creating are for real estate for philosophy for fantasy and they have so many different industries here but for us listening in real estate mortgage brokers those are the main two here and yes uh, they're just expanding more and more on that route so i would highly suggest that you use that and if you are interested i might have a discount for you but i'm not sure so if you do want to use it uh, message me on instagram as well okay fourth one everyone knows this one at this point well i think everybody knows this one and no it's not chat gpt that's just everyone uses that one uh, it's gemini gemini i use every once in a while when i want to break down a youtube video when i want to go further into it and i say hey do me a favor um gemini because gemini is google and google is youtube i simply say hey outline this video and give me the highlighted points so i can make a blog or i can summarize it to teach it or and then i go into it read it watch the video but in essence it creates a summary of any video you want just in case you don't want to watch that 
two and a half, three hour video. It'll summarize it for you and get the points and then you can come back to it later. But to me, Gemini is pretty useful. I still feel ChatGPT Perplexity are for the most part better when it comes to it, but I love those. And then a bonus one for you on top of that, Mid Journey. I use that probably daily just to create really great images. That's M-I-D and then Journey, J. O-U-R-N-E-Y. Now I'm confused. Hold on. Mid. Yeah. E-Y. Midjourney.com. Then you can uh, ask for any awesome, amazing pictures, both cartoony, realistic. It's powerful. Anyway, hope you use that and we will talk tomorrow. <laughs>